Hello and welcome to a brand new series where we are remaking our quest series that we made years ago. And we're going to make something a little bit better, a little bit more robust, able to save it, transfer between levels, lots of cool little features that we weren't having uh, possible on the first time we did this series. So in this first episode, we're going to go through the setup of creating the various quest structures and the data table and explain how this is roughly going to work. So let's get started. So we're going to start things off with our quest system by creating the basic quest actor. This quest actor will be spawned in by quest givers and your save system when they want to assign a quest to the player. The point of this quest actor is to keep track of the objectives being tracked and assessed against and also to measure when a quest should be completed. This is why it's best to have it as a separate actor or separate asset entirely. That way you can work on this asset separate from the rest of the game. So let's go ahead and create this new actor up. We go to our content drawer and we're going to create a new folder for our quest system. And we're going to create in here our quest actor. As a blueprint class, actor, quest. And we'll do as a base. And we're going to open this thing up. So my aim today is just to design up our quest base and set up the basic details of where quest information is going to exist. So the first thing we need to know is some variables. So the first variable we're going to have in here is be the quest ID. Now the quest ID will refer to a row name in a data table, which is where the quest data will reside. So let's go over to our type and change it to be a name type. So that's going to refer to a data table row name. We then want to know the quest details. Now the quest details are going to come from the data table. So let's go ahead and design the quest details. I'm going to minimize this and go back to my content drawer and I'm going to create a new struct. So I go to blueprints and structure. And we we'll call this one F quest details. And open this up. In our quest, we're going to have in here the quest name. This will be a text value. I'm going to have the log description. So this is the description that's going to be in long form appearing on the actual text inside of our quest log. Alongside that, we're going to also have a tracker description. So this will be the short form description that will appear just inside of our tracking on the main HUD during the gameplay. So we call this tracking description. And we're going to add another variable as a boolean to indicate whether or not this is a main quest or a side quest. What I'm going to do is main quest. Now you may want to do multiple types of quests, and in that case, an enum might be better suited for you. But either way, it's up to you if you want to do main quest and side quest, or you want to do main quest and then multiple different categories of side quests. How you organize it is totally up to you what you want to do here. And the next thing is the actual stages of our quest. So stages refer to different elements inside of our individual quest. So we're going to go and create the stage details up here and create new structure. And we call it an F stage details. And we're going to open the stage up. Now the stage here will also have a name. So let's go in here, stage name and this will be a text value description and we'll do objectives but we'll come back to that in a moment the xp reward so xp reward this will be an integer item rewards now we're not going to do a full inventory system in our setup here but what your inventory will be items will require probably it could be the name as a map with integer as the option here so you'll have how uh, what item name and how many of the item you're going to have as a reward and also have currency rewards too And that would be just an integer on its own. 
Okay, so what we're doing here is setting up the ability for our stages here to be a uh, quest to have multiple stages. And each stage can reward the player with different quest uh, rewards um, as they progress through the main story. So we hit save on this and we can close this down. And we can now go into creating the objectives. So objectives will be yet another detail struct. So let's create another blueprint structure. F objective details. And open this up. And inside here, we're going to have the objective name. Here, text value. Description. Uh, the type of objective, which we'll come back to in a moment as well. We'll come back to that. Uh, objective ID. And the objective ID is going to be a string. So the way this is going to work is as you complete various tasks inside the game, they're going to report back an ID number. And the ID number is going to refer back to our, our uh, quest here and to determine whether or not the objective was just met. So objective ID is what we're using for this. We want to know quantity. And this is because you may have like kill five rabbits, click, pick up 10 bear pelts, kill one guard, whatever it may be. That quantity is going to be used to know how many of those things you need to do. We have a boolean for is optional. And that'd be a boolean. Again, there you go. And we're also going to have bonus XP as well. If you want to reward the player some extra XP for completing a certain objective, you can do here as well. Hit save. So now we've got objective details. If we go back to our quest details, our stage details, sorry, you see we had objectives. The objectives in the stage here will be at F objective details, but this will be an array. So click on here, choose array. Now we've got stages done. We're going to go back to our quest details. And over here, we can set up the uh, stages that we want as well. So we're going to go into here, stages. Okay, so stages here. I'm going to do F stages. And you'll see stage details. And that'll be an array as well. Save. Uh, we're going to get an error again here. So let's just uh, make a change here. What's going on here? Stage. There you go. Don't know what that's about. You do get a weird error like that. Just uh, try messing about the names of them. It gets a bit funny sometimes. Uh, but there we go. We've got our three different structures working together. So quest contains stages. Stages contain objectives, and objectives have a detail here. Now we do have type here. This should be an enum. So we're going to go into create an enum for this. So we we'll go to blueprints enumeration. Do e objective type. Open this up, and we're going to add in here a location. This is a location based objective. So i.e. reach a certain lo uh, go to a certain point, go to uh, go to the house, go to the castle, whatever it is. Next one would be a kill objective. So kill 10 of these, five of these, one of these, whatever it may be. Interact. Go talk to someone, go pick up this, uh, go pull that lever and collect. So loot five bear pelts, so on and so forth. Okay. So you've got these four different types of objectives and you'll find that 99% of all objectives you do in the game are going to be one of these four. Okay, hit save and we can close that. So now I can go back to my objective details, go to objective type and I can do E objective type. Save. Okay, so there's all my details set up there. We now need to hook this up to a data table. So let's go over to a data table in our content drawer. Go to miscellaneous. Gonna show for me. There you go. 
And we'll do uh, quest details and click OK. And we'll do this one quest data. And it's inside this data table where you design all of your quests. So, for example, I'll click on add and we'll create the quest name. So here we go. My first quest. A log description. Um, we are creating a quest system that will demonstrate different objective types and include features such as saving and loading and moving quests from one level to the next and saving their individual progress okay so there's our description there tracking description we are making our first quest and is main quest yep sure and now you can design the stages so here your first stage is going to be in here uh, stage name uh, my first stage description stages allow you to design multi layered quests that allow you uh, so multi layered quests um, with a varying objectives and staggered rewards and then we can design the objectives for this quest and go down here objective name reach the marked location uh, sorry that'd be the description just cut that out there object name um location type be a location objective and objective id could be whatever string i want so the objective id could be randomized strings if you want to be more weird like that but i'd recommend putting something in that's going to be relatively simple and easy for you to track and follow so we can do location test as the first one here let's see we one is optional will be false bonus xp zero xp reward will do 10 item rewards will leave blank currency rewards will do uh, five okay and there is our first objective in our first stage and we can add multiple objectives to multiple stages as well however you wish so you can keep on going once you've done that hit save and that's your, your first quest is now recorded into the table make sure though you do give it a row name so the row name is a key name identifier for each quest now if you're going to have quite a large amount of quests i recommend doing something like a number based system or some sort of code based system to make it easier for you to track and follow which quests are which so for example i'm going to quest one one zero 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 one and that is my quest first quest of the main quest my side quest could be uh two zero 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 one for example um, so the first number could be referring to what type of quest it is last numbers could be referring to the actual individual quest whatever it may be but it's up to you whatever you do stick to it okay and that's our quest data and so on our back on our quest base here we're going to have quest details which are going to be the struct that we're going to get from our data table eventually so go f quest details And then we're going to have the current stage. So what stage is the quest currently at? And that's going to be integer. We also want to keep track of which uh, of the current stage data. So do current stage details. And that's going to be the F stage details. Like so. And then we're going to keep track of our objectives for a map. So we're going to call this one current objective progress and this will be a map of strings with a integer and the string it'll keep track of the objective id and the integer will be the quantity so if you pick up like five bear pelts but you need 10 just keep track of bear pelts and five and when we load into a new level those numbers will still be there with our save system we'll eventually make so it's a way of us keeping track of each of these objectives and then finally, we're going to have a boolean saying whether or not this quest is completed or not. Um, if it is complete, 
that be a boolean like so okay so if it's complete we can then add it in get the rewards and so forth okay and there we have it we've got the core foundation set up for our quest system in the next episode we're going to go through and set up the quest log component which is going to keep track of things such as what quests we're currently on what ones we've completed and their progress towards each quest we've done so far you can watch the next episode right now on patreon.com forward slash ryan laley where you can find all my videos early from just one dollar a month Thank you so much to all the patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. If you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It really does help out a lot. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.